fresh new G-Shock. Before we get started, a word of thanks to Bayi.com for sponsoring this video and allowing me to get this G-Shock watch a lot lower than retails. I believe I bought this from Yahoo Japan Auction through Bayi.com at only about 16,000 Japanese yen and added shipping and all those after. So here it is, the GA-2000 E-4JR, JA stands for JDM version and this is the kind of box if you buy the red and black version. Carbon Core Guard, G-Shock stamp and water resist 20 bar since 1983 in this military font. I like this thing a lot. So if you buy the one that is black and yellow or black and blue, you're not gonna get this kind of box. 5590 Japan module, pretty small. And the spring bar removed with two rules since the specialty of this model is indeed interchangeable watch strap. This is the manual on how to do so. I, I hope this thing gonna last. So let's have a look. Here is the packaging, open it up in 3, 2, 1. Alright, look at that. This uh, almost reminds me of the packaging on the Casio ProTrack lineup. I mean, ProTrack have been receiving extra interchangeable strap way back. So this is new for G-Shock only. Having two extra straps and only gonna cost you like an extra 2,000 yen each. And you're getting like in-house made by Casio strap that is a bargain in my opinion GA2000E-4JR retails at 20,000 Japanese yen equipped with hand attraction function, 5 alarm with no snooze function, world time to 48 cities and countdown timer to 24 hours, 1 over 100 seconds stopwatch to 24 hours as well. I already studied the manual just a little bit before I'm starting to make this video so I could have a rough idea what we are looking at. So this is called the Banta Carbon Core Guard so that you know that this is not Rosin, this is Carbon Core Guard model. From the name, it is Carbon Core Guard which means it is only at the core of the watch. Let's have a look up close on this side. You'll see this part is black. The center is a little bit more grayish and it has a different kind of finishing to it. The bottom layer is hard resin as well, similar as the one on top. So I have a feeling the one I center is in the carbon for the watch. It goes all the way around here and it also made up the button guard on the side. So that's why this model didn't require those button protection around it anymore because that guard structure is already strong enough to withstand any sort of impact and those guard wheel goes all around each of these five buttons just at the center and it was sandwiched with this uh, resin material on top and at the bottom so looking at the bottom you'll see Casio 5590 GA2000 water resist to 20 bar carbon core guard stem down here Japan movement GE case in Thailand 9142AD some sort of batch number I have no idea what that means but you guys could probably tell me the code on the strap tells that it, this is indeed polyurethane material. The buckle for the watch looks to me like a hard resin. I have a feeling this is from the similar material as this back plate and this bezel on top. This bezel has four screws to lock it into place. This is not decorative. I'm pretty sure this is to lock it to this carbon core uh, center. And the lug is actually built together with this resin backplate. There's actually not a metal part down here. So we'll talk about further on the construction on the disassembly video. For now, this is the strap. It starts at 24 millimeters. This is the first ever G-Shock with that size. Usually, not usually, all of them only have 16 millimeters size. So this is something new. It will taper it all the way down to 20 millimeters at the end here. All of the strap are 24 millimeters. This is the nylon strap. I've seen a different variations of this that came in Cordura and Nylon. I have a feeling Cassie will announce that soon. This one will have Thailand sign at the bottom of it as well. It is pretty soft though. I've seen a Cassie Pro Track watch that came in exactly similar straps. So I have a feeling this is just that. This is another one that came in dark gray. It looks like black, but if you compare the tone, it's more like a dark gray. I have a good feeling that this black strap gonna look very very good on this g-shock watch okay enough i'm gonna start wearing the watch right now for a good couple of days and then i'll be back and then we'll continue talking about the function and all the tiny little details that might be important
and I'm back surprisingly this is what I end up with the one in olive green or nylon and I like the one on black better compared to the one on black and red but technically this one looks more of a orange than red hold on let me bring it over here so this magma ocean is red and as you guys can see this one appear a little bit more orange than red I have an orange mud man over here look at that they are almost similar tone it is like 50 millimeter lug to lug distance the width size is uh, 24 the watch body size at 46 millimeters but the engine itself is only 32 millimeters so keep that in mind the thickness is 14 millimeters but that's okay the button alone is already like 8 millimeter thickness so overall it is really really well thought out model but the thing about the watch that not a lot of people gonna appreciate or gonna like is about the function it didn't have a lot of function at all this is the mode indicator seconds counter and they display i could swap this to uh, date display or digital time display instead the light button will be light on over here led light just one of them with a fade out effect so that's very beautiful in my opinion but without any auto light function at all yeah i know that's gonna be a huge turn down to most of you guys and to me as well i really wish it has that auto light function but castle seems to not add in that thing here for some reason and next you'll have a quick time swap to world time actually so there it is dual time keeping right away and you could swap both of them by pressing and hold this button instead pressing what button once will bring you to the world time function 24 hour stopwatch with split time and one of 100 seconds precision and next you'll have a countdown timer to 24 hour range as well and that's pretty much it and next you'll have alarm to five of them without any snooze function at all the mode indicator will be utilized using this rotational disc over there which i have a feeling a lot of people gonna like that design is just very very good so overall it is a very simple watch and for the fitting again if you have a skinny wrist this watch will be really really great especially if you're strapping this nylon strap it's gonna fit perfect about the strap it is a lot easier to change actually I just use my fingernail and not using the tool at all to remove it Alright, I guess I should end this video right away. I will talk even more in a separate video in the future. But for now, that sums it all. Go check buy.com. Link will be available down in the description box. Purchase any G-Shock watch or anything at all that you can think of from Japan. They already have a new app as well that you could install in your phone. And then you use that app instead of browsers. There's going to be a better user experience. So for now, that sums it all. Thank you very much for watching. This is Jay Chef. And I'm